Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to this special holiday edition of Police Beat. I'm Sergeant Eric East. And I'm Officer Billy Laurenti. Here's what's been happening. On October 10th, unknown persons vandalized the Springfield High School band bus that was parked at Spring Hill School. The vandals broke out four windows on the bus, causing around $500 in damage. Anyone with any information on this crime is asked to contact the police department at 330-784-1609. A Taylor Avenue man was arrested after it was reported that he was exposing himself by riding on his motorized scooter in the neighborhood. Officers arrested 62-year-old Ronald Marco on charges of public indecency. Mr. Marco subsequently pled guilty to the charges and was sentenced to 90 days house arrest. On November 13th, a motorist reported that he observed kittens being thrown from a vehicle on Killian Road. Officers responded and discovered two deceased kittens on the side of the road. It is believed that the kittens were alive when they were discarded. The suspect's vehicle is described as an older model blue Buick. We ask anyone with any information on this cruel act of, to contact us here at the police department. The Springfield Township Fire Department responded along with officers to the Akron Homong Alliance Church on Maslin Road for a report of a fire. Upon arrival, first responders noticed the church storage shed fully engulfed in flames. According to a witness, three individuals were seen fleeing from the area just as the building went up in flames. This case is currently being investigated as an act of arson, and again, we encourage anyone with any information to contact us. Any information can be given anonymously. On October 10th, detectives arrested 41-year-old Mark Randall Stover of Akron on charges of gross sexual imposition. The charges stemmed from incidents involving the sexual abuse of two children dating back to 2003. Mr. Stover was booked into the Summit County Jail and is currently awaiting trial. On September 14th, officers responded to a report of suspicious persons in the 1100 block of Cromroy Road. The first responding officer observed two males wearing masks and hoodies in the area. As the officer approached the males, they fled towards a wooded area as the officer pursued on foot. While in pursuit, the officer came under gunfire from the suspects. At least four rounds were fired at the officer. The officer was able to obtain cover and was not hit or injured. The situation did not permit for the officer to safely return fire to the suspects. Units from the Summit County Sheriff's Office and the Akron Police Department responded and assisted in locating the suspects hiding in the area. A 22 caliber Ruger handgun was also recovered at the scene. Further investigation determined that the suspects had also broken into several cars in the surrounding neighborhoods. Officers arrested 20-year-old Matthew Singleton of Akron and a 17-year-old juvenile also of Akron. Both suspects were charged with felonious assault on a police officer, theft, possession of criminal tools, criminal damaging, and possession of a defaced firearm. Matthew Singleton was booked into the Summit County Jail and the juvenile was booked into the Summit County Juvenile Detention Center. On September 30th, while investigating a stolen cell phone, officers and a detective from this department located the suspect behind Tri-County Plaza. While being questioned, the suspect was uncooperative and would not remove his hands from his front pocket. As the suspect was being arrested, he resisted and was eventually secured after a short struggle with officers. A 22 caliber starter pistol was located in the suspect's front pocket after the arrest. Officers charged 24-year-old Eric Lamb of Lakemore with receiving stolen property and resisting arrest. And now for our community calendar. We have many special events going on this holiday season. We invite everyone to help us get involved in the holiday spirit with the great events. On Saturday and Sunday, November 29th and 30th, officers will be hosting a Philly Cruiser event at Walmart on South Arlington. With your help, we are collecting donations of non-perishable items, clothing, and toys for family in needs this holiday season. On December 5th at 7 p.m. at the Springfield Fire Department, we are hosting our annual Christmas tree lighting. Santa will be celebrating this occasion with us as well. So bring the kids and come out for this 
ever popular holiday event. Shop with a Cup tickets are available and ready for pickup. This event is also a yearly treat for us as well as chosen children from the local schools. Tickets are being sold at $1 each or six for five. For every 100 tickets sold, a child gets to go on a Christmas shopping trip to Walmart. The children are transported in a police motorcade with lights and sirens. An officer will help them to purchase Christmas presents for their family and or themselves. This is a great event for all involved. So please help us and our local kids in this holiday season. Oh, sorry. Playing words with friends with apparently somebody who cheats. With everyone getting ready for the shopping season, we thought we would dig into our vintage vault for this next piece. We hope it will show you some safety tips to keep you and your family safe this holiday season. With the holiday seasons upon us, it's a perfect opportunity for criminals and thieves to be watching your stuff and watching what you're doing while you're out at the store. You need to take extra precautions during the holiday seasons to make sure that your self and your items are safe. We're going to go over 10 basic safety tips to help you out through the holiday season to keep you and your family safe. Number one, shop during daylight hours if possible. No matter when you go, you should remember there are safety in numbers. Shop with family and friends if possible. Number two, be aware of your surroundings. Take time to look around and notice some things that may seem out of place. If you're in doubt, don't get out. Do not attract attention. Keep packages and valuables in the trunk and out of sight. Also avoid wearing expensive jewelry. Your bling just might attract criminals looking for victims. Secure your purse. If you must carry a purse, carry it in front of you and close to your body. Never put your purse in your shopping cart and never leave it unattended. Use your plastic. Credit cards are better than cash when shopping. Having too much cash on you may draw unwanted attention. When at the checkout, wait until asked to produce your credit card. By having it out while items are rang up, you leave the opportunity for a shoulder surfer to get your valuable information. Have a central meeting place for friends and family to meet if separated during shopping. This is extremely important as shopping with children. Don't overload. It is important to have clear visibility and freedom of motion to avoid mishaps or distract you from your surroundings. Number 10, have your keys ready. Avoid fumbling around in your purse while walking to your car. Your keys can also be used as a defensive weapon if attacked. These, by following these basic holiday shopping safety tips, you and your family should have a safe and happy holiday season. Just remember to give yourself extra time. By giving yourself extra time, you allow yourself to stop, think, and remember these basic holiday shopping safety tips. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And now for this episode's Most Wanted. And he's a mean one. Mr. Grinch is wanted for hating Christmas. His heart's an empty hole. His brain is full of spiders and he has garlic in his soul. He was last seen hanging around the town of Whoville. If seen, you're encouraged to sing and be joyous and enjoy the holiday se season. With the season of giving upon us, all of us here at Police Beat decided that in place of our usual stupid criminal segment, we would instead give you, our four viewers, a gift. The following top ten list is given from all of us to you and yours. Here are the top ten things not to say to a police officer. Number ten. When the officer says, gee son, your eyes look red, have you been drinking? You probably shouldn't respond with, Gee, officer, your eyes look glazed. Have you been eating donuts? Number nine. Gee, officer, that's terrific. Last officer only gave me a warning, too. Number eight. You're not going to check the trunk, are you? Number seven. Hey, you must have been doing about 125 miles an hour to keep up with me. Good job. That's how you drive normally. Number six thing you shouldn't say to a police officer. Are you the guy from the village people? Dating myself here. 
And number five thing you shouldn't say to a police officer, I pay your salary. Number four, sorry officer, I didn't realize my radar detector wasn't plugged in. Number three, I thought you had to be in good physical condition to be a police officer. Number two, do you know why you pulled me over? Okay, just as long as one of us does. And the number one thing you shouldn't say to a police officer is, are you Andy or Barney? Well, that's all the time we have for this edition of Police Beat. On behalf of myself, Officer Lorente, and the rest of the Police Beat crew, we wish you a good morning, a good afternoon, and to all, a good night. I